We have so many problems right now that needs to be fixed, and we can actually have the end of poverty as a major transformative social project in this country. Remember back uh, in the 60s when John F. Kennedy actually said, we will put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. This was really a project nobody could actually believe they will do, and they did it because every part of society was behind this project. We can do the same to end poverty and to actually stop losing the resources and the potential we are losing. Let me start with what I think is a signature part of your campaign, and that is a basic income project, which would essentially be a top-up, taxable top-up, for example, for a family earning less than $44,000 a year with four kids or two kids, the idea being that they have a basic low-income threshold. Yes, we have a social safety net right now across the country, but the thing is, even with this safety, this safety net, people are still going in poverty. You can actually go in poverty if you're working at this point, especially if you're working part-time or minimum wage. We have 70% of the people who are poor in this country who are currently working. Uh, we have an increase in the use of food banks, so we need to do something about this. And we can actually work towards social programs. We've done that in the past. But we need to find a transformative solution to actually put an end to poverty. So $30 billion would be the cost to, over the course of phasing. I assume we want to phase in this. Uh, of this. course. So what is the corresponding benefit? If fewer people use food banks, you say that the savings would actually be equal to what the expenditure would be? Well, poverty in this country costs about $80 billion a year. So, I mean, we have lots of lost resources, lost uh, people who are, we are losing, what we are marginalizing. I really want this to be uh, the cornerstone of a new social policy in Canada. And we can do it, and we don't even need to negotiate with provinces. If we're talking about social programs, which I strongly believe, uh, for example, in universal daycare or pharmacare, we still need to sit down with provinces and negotiate. With basic income, you can actually do it through the tax system. And let's not forget, we currently have basic income in Canada under the Canada Child Benefit and the Guaranteed Income Supplement.